Hi there, welcome back. We're talking again about how to make Lily of the Valley noops in a different color. This time, I'm going to cover how to work multiple repeats of a pattern and manage all of the yarn sources that you need for the noob series. With this pattern here, where we have one pattern repeat lengthwise, we only had to worry about one yarn source for the contrast color. We work directly from our ball yarn. And then we started here with the first noob. And when we worked the last noob, we cut the yarn, we weaved it in. Then we started again, we joined the yarn again with the first noob on the, for the left leaning noobs. And when we worked the last one, we cut the yarn, weaved it in and so on and so forth. When working a pattern like this, where you have multiple pattern repeats and you have multiple noob series that you need to work on the same row, you need a different, different yarn source for each one of these noob series. And to do that, what we use are yarn butterflies. So we make a butterfly in the amount of yarn that's needed per series and when we get to the point where we need to add or we need to work our first noob in that series, we join the yarn from the butterfly to the work and we, we work our first noob. Then we bring in another butterfly and when we get to the next noob in the series, we join the yarn from this other butterfly to work the next noob in here. The first thing we need to do then is we need to estimate how much yarn we need per yarn butterfly. To do that, the best way to do it is to actually work one pattern repeat like this and unravel the work and get a pretty accurate estimate of the amount of yarn needed. Well, sometimes that's not possible. The next best thing is to work one or two and then multiply by the appropriate factor to estimate the amount you need for the entire series. Let's see how to do this. I start by not tying the knot around the main color as if I'm going to start knitting my first noob series. And then I work one or two or even three noobs. For this demonstration, I'm only going to work two. One more. And it's important to make sure that I'm working the noob per the requirement of the pattern. And for this here, my pattern says seven stitch noob. So I have a stitch noob in here. Rather, I have a seven stitch noob in here. Going to create another one. And notice here, I don't, I don't have to worry about the main color because this exercise is really to estimate only how much yarn I need for this series in here. So here I am, I work two, then I make a knot, and then I unravel the whole thing. And I measure how much yarn I used for two. So here, let me fold this like this so we can get it within the camera's window. Notice I made two. So now if I measure by folding it in half, if I measure the amount right here, it's going to give me how much I need per noob. So I bring my, bring my measuring tape. And here it looks like about nine and three quarters inches. Let's make it 10 make it easy for us to calculate here. So I've got 10 inches for one noob. And if I have to work six noobs, then I need 60 inches. Then I add what I need for tails, the, the one on the bottom or the beginning, and the one at the end. Let's say, let's add six inches. Then for, 
for this series of noobs, I need 66 inches of yarn per butterfly. Once I know how much yarn I need per butterfly, which means how much yarn I need to work all six noobs in this series, then I do two things. First, I write this number down on my pattern sheet because I don't want to forget it and I don't want to have to redo it again. The second thing I do is I take some waste yarn of a very different color and I cut uh, enough yarn equal to one butterfly. From that, then on, this will be my measuring yarn, so to speak. So every time I want to make a butterfly, I'll use this as my, my guide. Like, I will take the yarn from my yarn ball and just run it along like this. And once I have enough, then I cut it. And then I know for sure this is going to be enough for one butterfly. Notice as I am measuring along this contrast or that this waste yarn, I, I don't stretch the yarns. It's very important that we don't do that because if the yarns get stretched, that means I may not get enough yarn for my butterfly. So here I have measured enough yarn to make one butterfly. And I'll make it like this. I'll put one end of the yarn in my, in my palm and wrap the rest of it along my index finger and middle finger. And we'll leave a few inches at the end. We'll slide that off my fingers and we'll tie the other yarn end along the butterfly. And at the end I will insert my index finger to make a loop so I can thread the, t the yarn tail through it and tighten. So this end that was in my palm is the end where I would draw the yarn to work the butterfly, to work the, the noob series. Here I have a butterfly for each noob series I need to work. And if I have in this case, six or seven, then of course I would need six or seven butterflies. There is an opportunity here to consolidate these butterflies. I can combine two butterflies into one butterfly. And so for these two series of noobs, I can use one butterfly and draw two sources of yarn to work from. Or if I choose to, I can combine three butterflies together like this and then I would use each one of the the yarn ends to work a separate noob series. Here I have two yarn sources and I'm going to combine them into one butterfly. You can do the same thing if you have three yarn sources. It's the same process. So I put both yarn sources in my palm and then I would wrap the yarn around my index finger and middle finger exactly the same as I did with the one yarn source. When I'm, when I'm done and I have only a few inches left, take it off, wrap it around, and tie it like this. So now I will draw two yarn sources from one butterfly to work two noob series. And this way, I don't have too many things dangling on the back side of my work. And it's a little bit more manageable. This is it for me. I hope that you've enjoyed watching and learning about this new technique. And if you try your hands at working an adult version of this scarf, I would love to see pictures on Ravelry. Thank you again for watching and happy knitting.